Meanwhile, right here in Central Texas, teams were preparing for all kinds of emergencies, including weather ones this weekend. News 10's Chantel Rapp joined in as the state Texas Guard practiced responding to disasters. Chantel, what did you see out there? Yeah, Megan, the training started with a classroom session in the morning where the nearly 40 service members there went over the basics of how these missions, sheltering and then pods or points of distribution, should be simulated. After that, they put their classroom skills to action. Indoors, they simulated setting up cots in the gymnasium of the Crestview Community Center, which is a designated shelter building in the event of a disaster here in Waco. They also practiced responding to a medical emergency in the gymnasium, running through what vital signs to take, when to call 911, and even had an EMS team come in to keep the simulation as realistic as possible. Outside, they ran through their pod mission, which involved guiding cars to a water and food distribution point. In 10 seconds or less, they filled the cars with canned water and other emergency necessities. Today, they'll get together to review how yesterday's training went, what they can improve on and what they learned, so they're ready for the next simulation in another location come April. Constantly train on this mission, you know, just to be ready, whether it's hurricane or winter weather, especially going to hurricane, it's real world that we could be performing this mission um, in numerous locations. So it's important for us to get out there, meet our local emergency manager practitioners, get some faces with names, have us actually execute the mission. Now, you can see here in this video, I even actually got the chance to run through the point of distribution simulation outside where the soldiers practice putting water and other goods into my own car. So rest assured, Texans are in good hands in case of emergency. Back to you, Megan.